Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, we want to take this opportunity to welcome all our online viewers and also those who are here to our power packed uh, lunch hour service. And one thing I want to assure you that the presence of God is here and the blessings of God is along the way too. 
Thank you for joining us. Let me take this time and pray. Our Father and our God in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us. We stand in your presence to glorify your name. We stand in your presence to exalt you. We stand in your presence to magnify you. We are praying today as your spirit minister to us give us understanding bless our team bless even our viewers wherever they are and I stand against the walls of the enemy any scheme that he has against this service it shall not prosper in the name of Jesus we pray this while we believe in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. And amen. Over to our praise and worship team. Amen. amen. Yes, Lord. Father, you are highly exalted. You are highly lifted up high. You are far above all other gods that is born like you, Jesus. We magnify your name this afternoon. Yes, you yes, are Lord, high in it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are not like you, Jesus. You are lifted up high. You are lifted up high, Jesus. We exalt you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we exalt you. Oh, Hakuna Mungu kama wewe. Hakuna Upopote Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna Upopote Tusheme hakuna Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Na hakuta kuwepo Popote Sema tena hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna Popote Sema tena hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Popote Oh, hakuna Hakuna Kwenye ishara kubwa Kama we Ewe mungu Oh, hakuna Hakuna Kwenye ishara kubwa
Que ya con una chosa, the powers of darkness are defeated in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. You are lifted up high. You are highly exalted, Jesus.
Let twice be of her. The old power belongs to you, Jesus. Where we una weza, where we una weza, where we una weza, where we una weza kutenda, where we una weza, where we una weza, because you are there. Where we una weza, where we una weza, yeah we, where we una weza, because you are there. Nadi omana tunakuita Jehovah, ukisema una tenda, ukisema una tenda. Where we have our holy ganeshi, where we have our ubadi liki. To be kuona ukiti mu unaweza. Waweza maboyo, waweza maboyo. Where we? Waweza maboyo, waweza maboyo, waweza maboyo, waweza maboyo. There is none like you, Jesus. We magnify your name.
Thank you, Jesus. Ukisema unatenda. Ukisema unatenda. Ukisema unatenda. Ukisema unatenda. And let come kukuya confident of God. Though it's tarish, so God, we shall wait for it, dear Lord, because you do just what you say, dear Father. And we thank you because even as we wait on you, dear Lord, our strength is renewed in your presence. Our strength is renewed in your presence, God. Ukisema unatenda, ukisema unatenda, niyo mana jina lako ni Jehova, na wewe huchelewi, wewe hukawi, kono wako siyo mfupi mpano wakuto kutenda, niyo mana unaitua Jehova. Tokuita Jehova Na ukisema unatenda Na umetenda Ndiyo banda unaitua Jehova Jehova Ndiyo banda unaitua Jehovah. Sema utatenda Na umetenda Niyo manda unaitua Jehova Ulisema Ulisema utatenda Na umetenda Niyo manda unaitua Jehovah, uli sema, uli sema utatenda, na umetenda, diyo mana unaitua, Jehovah. Amen. Hallelujah. Diyo mana anaitua Jehovah. Let's close our eyes and we pray. Ocha tuombe. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we honor you this afternoon for the time that you've given us in your presence. As we join our viewers to listen to your word, may your presence go together with us. Thank you, Holy Spirit for your taking over now. In the name of Jesus, do we pray and believe. Amen. 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 God bless you. Praise and worship team. My name is Pastor Charles. Charles Maina. I belong to Cornerstone Faith Assembly. And I want to thank uh, the entire leadership of Cornerstone Faith uh, Fraternity for extending this inv invitation to come and share the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Where the presence of God is, all things work together for good. Amen. Amen. So without waste of time, uh, allow me to introduce what I'm going to share this afternoon. And the Lord is going to bless our life. We are reading from the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2. Uh, I will read from verse 1 there. And the Lord is going to bless us. The book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2. I will read from verse 1. Uh, as we continue. 
My translation says, I will stand at my watch and station myself on the rampant. I will look, I, I will look to see what he will say to me. And I will answer, I am going to give this complaint. Then the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on the tablet so that the herod he may run with it. The revelation awaits an appointed time. It is peaks of the end. Though it will linger, wait for it. It will suddenly come. It will not delay. Our Father, again, we bless your name because of the reading of your word. Give us the interpretation. Release the anointing that makes the teaching and preaching of your word easy. In the name of Jesus, do you pray and believe. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Now, for the few minutes that are coming, the Lord has led me to share with you uh, on a certain topic here about the path of vision. I may not take my time, but for those who are following this, I want you just to view yourself and you begin to focus on the vision that God gave you. Because every vision has got its own unique path. Amen. But just before I introduce what, the, I mean, what this path is, allow me so quickly remind you what the vision is. Everyone that was created by God has got the vision. Amen. And the implementation of the vision, it depends with oneself. It depends with you. Amen. Hallelujah. So what is a vision? Now a vision is a conceptual view of the, of the future. In other words, it is having a picture of the future. Amen. Now, a vision also, it is a visual manifestation of your, uh, of your purpose. Many people have lived a life without a purpose. But what vision comes to do, it narrows you to the manifestation of that purpose. Many people have committed suicide. They don't see the value of living because they don't understand their purpose. But what will bring to my, your purpose to manifestation it is your vision. So in other words, your vision it is a, having a glimpse of a reason for existence also. Amen. I know I'm speaking to somebody this hour. And I want to assure you that you are not valueless. You are not valueless. You have a reason to live. So it is the vision that will give you a, a perception or a re the reason for uh, to, to live. Amen. If we are together, say amen. So the vision also it is the concept of your divine future. Amen. You know, God has, I mean, God has made, a, has prepared for you a future. He says in the book of Romans chapter 8, for I know the plans that I have for you. God knows the plans that he has for you. They are not evil. But it is to give you future and hope. If this is your portion, you can lend me your amen. Amen. Do you know why people lack the reason to live? Because they are hopeless. But the vision will reawaken your reason to live. You shall not die prematurely. Allow me to announce this on this altar. That your life is marked to 
come to I mean it's marked to come to the uh, to live the expectant days. You, you shall not die prematurely. Amen. The vision of God in your life will keep you alive. Amen. Wherever you are, you can boast and say, I have a vision. Remind your enemies. You shall not die because you have the vision. Amen. Hallelujah. The vision, it is the capacity to see the impossibility as being possibilities. You know that, I mean, mean the, the, the vision help you to, to, to see a way where there is no way. A vision helps you to see healing where there is sickness. Allow me say this, that the vision allows you to see riches in the place of poverty. Amen. Hallelujah. The vision. But this vision it is one thing to attain the vision. But a different thing to accomplish it all together. Amen. Hallelujah. I've said that it is one thing to, um, to achieve a vision. But a different thing to, to achieve the vision. In the book of Habakkuk where we have read. I don't want us to rush here. I want you to follow me closely. The Bible says in verse 1, I will stand at watch. I will stand at my watch. Sorry. The word here begins with I will. I will. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will is the subject of the matter here. Correct my grammar. It is the subject of the matter. It is the one that gives us or narrows us to the person that the, the Bible is speaking about. I will it is you who is watching at me today. Amen. Hallelujah. Begin to say I will. I will means that your vision begins with a desire. Amen. Hallelujah. When somebody says that I will, it means that he has purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. When I was coming here today, in the morning I told myself I will go to Cornerstone Faith Assembly. Dagoretti. And for sure I am here because I purposed. I desire to be here. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The desire for a better and preferable future can only come when you begin to realize your vision. Hallelujah. Begin today to desire something greater than what you have. Your vision is marked for greatness. Amen. Hallelujah. So don't mean, don't demean your I will. Look at me here. How are you handling your I will? If you say that I will be a failure, for sure this year will not end before you fail. After listening to this, may you begin to purpose to see success in your life, to see greatness in your life. Amen. And pronounce that. that I will prosper. I will go for it. I will go for that job. I will go for that business. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't demean your will. Because your vision is greater. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you have a vision? Your vision is greater. Amen. I will stand at my watch. Amen. 
Hallelujah. You know, many people are contented with where they are. But God bless the vision in you to bring you to greatness. Desire something greater than the way you are today. Don't be the person of the same level. Amen. Hallelujah. I will stand upon my watch. Now, my watch, uh, in other words, says that I will stand at my tower. I will station myself at, on, on the ramp on, on the tower. Now, the tower, I was looking at uh, some translations here. It refers to uh, a fenced place. It is a solitary place. It is a sacred place. Amen. Hallelujah. It is a place Nimala. without distractions. Bila usumbufu, bila kusumbuliwa, kusumbuliwa. After you realize your purpose, maono yako. after you say that I will, kama you need to direct it to the right position. Ujiongoze, mweleke, pali, 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 pali. Where you stand matters a lot. Ina, ina, Whether ina, you are going to accomplish the vision or not. Simama, ina, lingana, kama utafikia, timai, yako. Allow me to say this in precise. That your position determines your fulfillment of your vision. Amen. Hallelujah. When Jesus left, he told the disciples, I am going, but the helper will come. Amen. Hallelujah. Then Jesus left. When he left, they didn't just tarry there. The Bible says they went to the upper room. Now, the upper room here is more like the tower. Where are you taking your vision? You have remained with your vision on the ground. The vision that are grounded, they cannot dominate. Amen. God did not call you to be dominated, but God called you to dominate. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a mark of greatness in your vision. Don't die on the same level. Say, I will go. By the way, you cannot lead people that you are on the same level. You must go higher level. Amen. Hallelujah. And in a sacred place. The Bible says in the book of Mark chapter, I think that uh, chapter 1 verse 32. That very early in the morning, Jesus arose and went to a solitary place. And there he prayed. Let me tell you something. There is power in the sacred places. Learn to take your vision in sacred places. Because in sacred places, you are not even exposed to your enemies. When Jesus was born, he went to be hidden. He was taken to Egypt to be hid here for some time until he was of age until when Herod died some visions are done too early because they are being exposed don't expose your vision too early if you're together say amen Hallelujah. Don't expose your vision. Take it to the sacred place. I will stand at my tower. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I will look to see what he will say. I'm moving quick here because of time. Who is saying? Don't answer me. Dinejibu. At first you said I will. It, you, it was addressing you. But now. You are looking to see what he will say. Who is this person who he is going to say. The source of your vision. Does not belong to man. The source of your vision belong to him who has the, 
the, the beginning and the end of it. He who began the good work in you, he shall speak and your vision shall be manifested. Amen. Hallelujah. We are talking about God. I know Najua. what men have spoken about your vision. It is just a lie. But what God has spoken about your vision, it is always true. Go look and see. He is about to speak to you. Amen. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what somebody told you in the morning. I know they discourage you that you shall not make it. What the Lord says, the Lord's report is what I'm going to believe. Amen. Hallelujah. What your enemies are saying is false. But what God is saying is the only truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know sometimes the enemy can preach to you. Try to preach you. That you cannot make it. You are going to die. Even the business that you began. It is going to die. But I want to tell you the good report. Of the owner. You belong to the owner. He says. You are going to make it. Whether the devil likes it or not. Amen. Hallelujah. And look what he will say to me. And what answer you give to my company? Then, then the Lord said, Write the vision. The vision that is not written, it is a forgotten vision. We always say that what is not on the paper, it is a vapor. A sharp pen. I mean, a short pen is better than a long memory. Learn to write it down. I want to provoke you today. Go and write your vision on the tablet. Make it plain. After you receive the vision, make your vision plain. Amen. Hallelujah. Easy to be interpreted in simple language so that whosoever reads it the Bible says whosoever reads it may run with it. The word may correct my grammar the word may may means may means he can either run with it or not run with it. I know many people have read your vision. But I want to say as I'm standing on this altar today that not all people who are going to run with your vision they are people God has appointed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Don't be discouraged when you lose somebody in your life. Maybe they are not meant to run with your vision. Amen. Hallelujah. So that when they read it they may run with it. Amen. Your vision is valuable. It is more than who is running with you with it. Those who are running with it, they are only the vessels. And God can use any vessel. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. I know there are things you have lost this year. I want to encourage you that the Lord will work out another way for you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I can't continue because of time. But I thank God because of what you shared with us. From wherever you are listening to me, allow me to pray with you. But just before I pray with you, allow me to make a, a special invitation. You know, the vision cannot be realized if you have no identity with Christ. I want to give you an opportunity. If you have never given your life to Jesus, wherever you are, believe with me, believe with me as I lead you to prayer of salvation. Say, say Lord Jesus, I have heard your word. And today, I have known that I have a vision. And I'm praying 
that you may forgive me all my sins. You may forgive me all my trespasses that you may forgive me all my iniquities. From today, I shall serve you with my whole heart. Holy Spirit of the Lord, be my teacher and be my guide from now to everlasting. Amen. Amen. And let me pray for each every one of us. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because of, uh, uh, of speaking to us about the path of vision. We understand we understand, my God, we cannot achieve our vision if you have not realized the path. May you give us the grace to strengthen us as we pursue our vision. Make it achievable to us. And any plans of the enemy that comes to distort our vision, any group of people that come to hinder our vision, take them away from us. In the name of Jesus, do we pray and believe. Amen. God bless you from wherever you are. Thank you for following this message. Amen. Uh, may God bless you. May this word work for you. And not only for you, and also for your generation. Amen. Amen. I know you may wish to become a blessing to this work. I want to give you a chance also. There are some now, uh, account numbers that are down here. We have the ABSA account. We also have uh, the pay bill. You can feel free to give your offerings or any other kind of giving. And our mighty Lord is going to bless you. Amen. 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 And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom.